friends, MD Vegan. I make a curd today with a lot of different herbs and onions and spring onions and garlic and pepper and salt and paprika. And um, I begin with cashews and with a little bit of sesame seeds because I always loved curd and I always tried to, to figure out how can I make a vegan version. It's a fermented usually. But uh, with vegan, you can also, without fermentation, you can also um, emulate a little bit the texture and the flavor of curd as we know it. And I have already made some recipes and it's a complex flavor when you ferment something. So to begin with a cashew is a neutral base that makes of course the cream and sesame seeds make it a little bit more savory. This is a harder texture to firm and that gets something of this firmness that the curd um, owns. Yeah. So I begin with a large cup of cashews and maybe two or three tablespoons of sesame seeds. If you take tahini, take a little bit less, maybe one tablespoon or so. I would say. Measurements are always up to change. Yeah? These are not precise measurements. No. <laughs> so, cup of cashews, uh, two or three tablespoons of sesame seed to get this ground texture of creaminess and a little bit savoriness and firmness. And I put a half a lemon and there the fermentation adds usually a sour flavor. I have a half a lemon to make it a little bit sour Curd has something a little bit sour usually from the fermentation, so half a lemon should be enough for this. And then I have flavors that also add something to this complex fermented flavor. And there is the first, of course, first pepper and salt. That is what I put into a spring curd anyway. Pepper and salt is a standard, nothing to do with the curd itself, it's just a seasoning. But what I put in the uh, what I add to the to the complexity is uh, a little bit of garlic here. Yeah, it's an onion flavor, and a little bit of paprika, uh, maybe half a teaspoon or so, not too much, just a little bit to add a little bit of tartness and a sweetness and sharp. Uh, the complexity is the, the the flavors. Yeah, the complexity has to to be to be high to have the uh, similar effect as this fermentation. When you want to ferment it first, you can ferment the cashews first, let it sour a little bit, and then it is easier to make this fermentation, this kind of curd. But I want to make it with seasonings. I find that very exciting. I also like these seasonings. I like to put, I like to put um, paprika in and garlic and pepper and salt. It's wonderful. So salt is too part of the fermentation. Salt and lemon, that has also a sour character. So this is the base for the curd. And the spring part comes yeah, with herbs, i show you in a second. First I blend this now with water. I begin with a small amount of water. Yeah. I will have to, uh, to, to, add, uh, to adjust a little bit after the, second, after the first blending. I will check the texture and the flavor and then do a second blending and then i show you. First, the blender dance. So I break down the cashews basically and the sesame seeds and they definitely need a second blending because now they are soaking very fast. Broken down in small pieces, they soak very fast. But now I have a chance to taste it and to check the texture. What do I want? More water? More of this or that? Let's see. It's a firm texture. That is a little bit too much, but I can add a little bit more, no problem. But now let's taste it. What does it taste like? Mm. Mm, good. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's, mm, it's a very nice round flavor. I add a little bit of salt here. 
not too much. Half a teaspoon. And I also add a little bit more lemon. I have a half a lemon left here. And that's quickly done. I just add a quarter. I quarter it and then I cut down the peel from the sides very easily. That's all I need to do. Has to be a little bit more sour. And a little bit more water. It is too thick, clearly. Uh -huh. So, I will do it again. One more blender dance. Now it's around about a cup of water in the curd. Now the texture looks better now. And it's also a little bit more broken down. Yeah, that looks that looks much better. Let's taste it again. Mm. I'll be getting there. Mm. Now the right amount of salt, the right amount of lemon. <clears throat> and there's this complexity with the garlic and the paprika. Very nice sesame seed. But still, I think it's a little bit too <clears throat> firm yet. Add a little bit more water and definitely needs more blending. Because it might be longer. The longer it sits, there's cashews in it a lot. The longer it sits now, it gets firmer and firmer. The cashews soak and soak and it gets more firm. So a bit more water and then I can add my greens and the onion. Blender dance one more time. Especially with the sesame seeds, I assume it needs a little bit more blending. So I blend it three times now. Usually I do two times, <clears throat> but the sesame seeds, I guess, it's, it's a, good, uh, a, good, a good idea. Now it's a little bit runny, but it will fur up a little bit anyway, so that's okay. And I will add also a lot of herbs here and onions, and that also makes it thicker. So a little bit more runniness, I guess it's good. Let's taste it again. Wow, now the flavor is perfect. That's wonderful. So now I'll put it into a bowl and I show you what it looks like. Here's a bowl to mix everything together. Here's the curd. See, it's a little bit runny, but as I said, it will firm up anyway because the cashews always firm up. Put it in the fridge or so. And then I add the, a lot of herbs and onion, and that will also make it thicker. But the flavor is very nice. It might end up exactly the way I would like it. Yeah, now I taste also the pepper is there. It's, it's a little bit peppery, that's nice, not too much. So now I show you my herbs. I have, um, the, the standard here first is always I begin with the onion. Maybe that's that's easier because these are the larger pieces. The larger pieces first. They can be <clears throat> easily uh, stirred a little bit. I have two uh, spring onions, two stalks. I cut them into little ringlets, and I have one onion. I chop it up finely. So that goes first in onion and spring onion. Now it gets this oniony flavor 
A little bit of garlic also has an oniony flavor. It's a scent families. And that makes it really grounded. Same with the chives. I have chives here. It's also an onion flavor. That goes in later. First I have a bunch of parsley. <clears throat> that goes in. It's a little bit of the sour green flavor. It's a very powerful herb. It's our, one of our most important kitchen herbs here in Germany. Same with chives. These two are really the main herbs here. As far as I know when you ask a German uh, chef, uh, they usually say chives and parsley goes in everywhere. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. You get it everywhere. Chives here. One bunch or two bunch. No, one bunch. One bunch of parsley and uh, chives. It's a nice bunch. And the chives only, I cut them into these little sticks here. And that's what I always do with the chives. They, they are nice and they are very tender and uh, they're beautiful, these sticks. You can cut it a little bit smaller or larger. That's okay. It's like a little spring onion, a very tender one. Now I combine everything. And then it can sit, you can eat it right away. It's tasty immediately, the fresh herbs. But it can also sit for a while and eat it tomorrow. Put it in the fridge overnight. Tomorrow it will be even better because then the herbs have fully, fully given their flavor to the, to the curd. Oh, it's wonderful. I have to now it gets a, gets a nice texture, gets firmer, and the cashews will also they will also, of course they will, um, um, the seeds sesame seeds too they will soak even more, change the texture a little bit. But that's really what I wanted. This nice nice kind of spring curd. Um, with a lot of herbs in there and onion and everything, spring onion, that's what I wanted. I was thinking about it for some time now, some days, I had some nice cashews, I thought, ah, come on, let's make a curd, and then I can dip it, for example, let me taste it first. Ah, yeah, it's a very nutrient dense, very, very wonderful, these curds. Mm, 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 mm. Or the groups with the herbs it's nice crunchy what I do with it but the easiest thing is just use it here for example with a, with a carrot a slice of carrot yeah very easy like this you see it's a little bit runny yet but it will firm up but that's already good or Mmm, yummy. Cucumber, same thing. Slice. Yeah. Shovel it. Mm. Perfect. Celery stalks, you know, or let's say bell pepper. Cut out a piece on a little boat. Wonderful. Anything you cook a potato, put on potatoes. It's uh, for so many things you can use it. I like it already. I'm looking forward to it. The next days I will enjoy. And a little bit I will enjoy it right away. I hope you enjoy. Thanks for watching. If you like, like my videos, subscribe and leave on YouTube. Have another recipe every single day. And find me on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest and Twitter.